Maung Sung Ka seems like an unlikely face for the war for democracy in Myanmar. In his past life, he was a peaceful anti-government poet. Now he's leading an armed militia against the state. In video provided to Reuters, he appears to be in a jungle camp talking to rebel fighters of the Bama People's Liberation Army, or BPLA, an army he leads after founding it two years ago. The 30-year-old says his life now involves negotiating arms deals and dodging airstrikes. We chose to take up arms as we had no other choice. The situation demanded it, and I would say that this is most unfortunate for us. Nobody wants to do this. We were forced to choose this path. It wasn't always so. Like many others, Mong took to the streets to protest the junta that ousted Aung San Suu Kyi's government in February 2021. He went into hiding after a warrant was placed on his head. He lost faith in peaceful protests and founded the BPLA. It was helped by his track record as an anti-government activist before the coup. Mong was known popularly throughout the country as the penis poet. He was jailed in 2015 for writing a satirical poem about his penis tattooed with a portrait of then-President Tian Sen. After that, he kept writing and became more politically active. He advocated for equality for the country's many minorities and against the imprisonment of journalists, including two Reuters reporters who were detained for covering the Rohingya massacre. When he's not busy on the front lines now, Mong says he's still composing poems. I wrote a poem about love last week, and it turned out to be about a soldier in the jungle missing his girlfriend, who was left behind in the city. It would be easy for my poems to be all about the revolution, but I am making conscious efforts to not do that. The junta, which has charged Mong Song Ka with sedition, says armed groups that oppose it are terrorists who sow chaos and kill civilians. It did not respond to Reuters' requests for comment about the story. Mong says he worries about potential retribution against his family. All of us, myself included, have no plans to return to our former lives. No matter what happens to our parents, as a commander who must lead my comrades, I have to keep that in mind. He adds that after the junta has been ousted, he wants to open a bar for young veterans as they have missed many opportunities to experience joy in their youth.